the thing. It's fine though. I don't. It doesn't like bother me. I've already gotten so much shit that at this point it's just. I'm not playing like a good like a game. She can say whatever she wants. I like your comforter. Thank you. It's my favorite. It's very comfy. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Yeah. <sighs> that bark is so hilarious. She's cause she's so old and senile. Are you okay? Yeah, I've just yawned 70 times in the last five minutes. So I'm crying. I mean, not to wake up to. Yeah, she's my, like, alarm clock that I never actually set, but that always goes off. Yeah, let's, like, not talk about that stuff. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something positive. Start the day off positive, you guys. Drama is, like, I get it. Like, it's fun and addicting and stuff. But at the same time, like, it's so negative. And, like, why would you want to bring all that, like, negativity into your body? I can't get to her. She won't come to me for me to pick her up. She won't leave my room. She's just sitting there barking at me. Like, she has options here. Happy V Day, little bug. Mm, thanks. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> I like when people say that, like when their dogs hear my dogs. And it like sets them off. I think that's funny. I buy menthol. I used to buy mint before they stopped selling mint, but then I had to switch to menthol. What's that sound? It's my dog. He won't stop barking at me. Ah. Ah. Dead. <coughs> Excuse me. You have a cat? I do. One, one of them. One cat. Lola! Lola, I'm literally begging you. It's so early. My brain isn't even open to the possibility of hearing. I love you so much, but I need you to be quiet. Like, I'm literally like, oh, I'm begging you. You see how many times I've yawned? I'm not awake. I'm going to get my lips done at like 11.30, so I need to like kind of get up and like shower and get ready and shit. She'll for sure work with you. I know, I don't like to yell at her, so I just try and like have a conversation, you know. And I'm sorry if I'm making you on. Good morning. What was the highlight of your week? Um... I had a lot of highlights in my week. I got to spend like a whole day with my sister, which never happens. Like just the two of us. That was pretty cool. And then there's some other things. I mean, Botox lips. No, it's like a, um, it's like, I don't know if you guys have seen it on TikTok. It's like, uh, like hyaluronic acid treatment for your lips. It's a pen. Like it's non-invasive. I'm, like I'm not getting fillers. Do I fuck with Liv? Like, do I fuck with her? Like. She's a cool person, and I like like her, like as like as like a friend and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I argue with mine to come off like a lawyer. That's funny. Got out of bed, pick up the little dog and love on her. She you, the, the thing is, is that she doesn't want to be here. Like I will I will pick her up, and the first thing she want to do is go down. Like she doesn't like being up high on my bed. She's very old. She just gets confused sometimes. That's why I don't get mad at her. Cause she honestly like. Like, now she's just laying down, like, perfectly fine. Are you going to Georgia? Yeah. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so 
phone just has been growing red. Watch my videos. She got 800. Yeah. What time is it for you? 8.45. The first time I woke up, it was at 5.30. And I was having the it was like bad, like a bad dream. It was scary. Then I went back to bed a little bit. And then... Oh, my God. Good morning. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like I was just staring. Like, Are you getting vaccinated on the 21st? Yes, I am. I'm getting vaccinated before I leave. So that I can be safe. I want to see Trevor. He's not in my room. He's with my mom. Ah! Mm. Sleepy. Yes, <sighs> still sleepy. Whenever I wear my beanies like that, I was just like, <laughs> sorry. Did I take? Yeah, I had to take my bed. I really looked at that. I sleep with my pants like in my bed. Or I'll like forget to take them. Oh my god. I literally just said Trevor's not in my room. I think he's with my mama. I look up, he's right there. Didn't even know. I didn't even know you were here, young man. Am I gonna get a new tattoo? Well, I'm in Atlanta. Holy. I don't want to miss the opportunity. Last night I was really thirsty. I had this water bottle and I was drinking it and then I like took my meds to go to sleep and stuff. And then I had like this much left and I was so thirsty but I was like, you're not gonna wanna get up and get water tomorrow morning to take your like meds for the morning. So I, um, I don't really think I have a favorite. I just kinda, this one like legit accidentally looks like Liv and I didn't, like we didn't notice till after. Um. I don't know, this is my arm. You guys can pick your favorites. This is my little heart. Which never did for a small tattoo. This is my faces. That's the first tattoo I've ever gotten, that courage one. And then my inside one with Jack. Um the cherries on my my cherry skulls, which are dope. Um, and then we got Diego over here, he's chilling. He's fucking badass. I honestly, like, I think out of all my, like, all my tattoos, like, this has the most, like, work into it. For sure, like, this took a crazy amount of time. But, like, it was well worth it. But, like, the details sick as fuck. The highlights are sick as fuck. The nose, like, I look at it and I, like, want to, like, touch it. Because it's just, like. Yeah, Diego's dope. So, honestly, Diego might be my favorite. And then I got my snake. But I also love my snake. Like, Sylvester is not left out of this. So I got my snake. And then I got my little moth man on the outside. My little mothica. Um, and then I got... I can't show you my other ones because they're all, like, below. And on my back. And I'm not doing that. But I honestly, I think Diego is. Like, Diego's just so sick. Like, he's such a badass. Look at him. Like, I just picture him, like, fucking running around the jungle. Like, just fucking murking people. He's so cute, too. He's so cute. Oh, Trevor's leaving my room. He was jealous. He a baddie. I know. I really think he is. Yeah, no, I like, I'm gonna fill this whole arm. Like, this is gonna be. I have so, I like, look at it and I'm like, oh, like, what else? Scrapbook. Like, this whole side of my arm isn't filled. The, like, this, like, this portion isn't filled. The back side, which is gonna hurt like a bitch when I finally do get something there. My next tattoo from the 
girl I'm doing here, not the one I'm probably going to get in Atlanta, because I'm going to save this one for my actual tattoo artist, but, um, I'm going to get, like, a traditional, like, dagger, like, a traditional style tattoo, like, dagger, um, to match the traditional tiger, it's going to be cool, there's a huge hole in your shirt, I know, <laughs> but I like this shirt, and I won't throw it away, so don't ever tell me to, it is also a hole on this side, Oh, now it's bigger. <laughs> Which tattoo means the most to you? Probably this one. Because it's like me and Jack's like matching one. It's like, I'll give you the sun and the moon. Like, because he's my best friend. And I'd like literally do anything for him. So we have this one like together. Plus it's dope. Like, I, I do like the way it looks on my arm. Um, yeah. Hi, ladies. Wow, that hole is big. I think it got bigger. What tattoo hurt the most? Um, I'm mean, gonna have my fingers tattooed. If I would have had like a bigger tattoo, like bigger tattoos on my fingers, I would say I probably would be saying hand because it hurt really bad to even do these dots. But my back, like getting it shaded, like line work usually hurts the most. Like the line work on this hurt the most. Like, when it came to shading, the only part that actually hurt was, like, when she had to black out, like, close to my armpit. But, like, I don't know. Like, usually line work is what gets you because it's so, like, deep and just, like, like you're, like, freaking making a canal in your skin. But for some reason, the sh I mean, the, the line work on my back hurt, too. But when, when she did the shading with, like, the colors and stuff, like, <sighs> shit hurt me. The line. I mean, it's a tiger, but yeah. It's Diego. He's dope. I honestly love him so much. And he heals so well. Like, I'm not raised at all. Like, I'm like still, like, smooth. You know what I think about one day? That I just, like, I just started thinking about the other day that, like, I didn't really think about when I, like, got all my tattoos. Which I still love them. Like, don't get me wrong. But, like, I'm going to be freaking yatted on my wedding day. Like, I'm going to, because I, I want to wear a dress on my wedding day. Like, I, like, I always wanted to. And so, like, I'm going to be in, like, this pretty, like, white wedding dress. Just fucking snake on my arm, tiger on my shoulder. Like, I don't know if, how I'm going to, I'm going to have to find a dress that, like, makes it work. I kind of want to meditate. I go to Olivia's house in a few days. Well, not a few days, but I'll be there in like a like a little over a week. Ah, uh, like not, like eight days. That's crazy to say. Can you Facetime Liv? No, she's snowboarding with her friends. She's having fun. Hey! She's gonna fall on her ass so many times. She's never been snowboarding. She's never even skied yet. Like going from like. Not skiing first and then just snowboarding. Like, she's gonna have a sore butt by the end of the day. What I really want is I want to get something like here, like coming down my hand. But I kind of want to wait for that till I have, like, till I know what I'm gonna do with my life. Are you able to snowboard? Absolutely not. I'm not at all saying that I, like, can't. I'm just saying, like, I know, like, all of my friends snowboard. Like, all that's all they would do in high school and stuff. But um, I was always playing soccer, so it was hard for me to go with them, so I never did. But, yeah, I know it's hard. You skate? I used to. Not anymore. I actually kind of want to pick it back up again. So I feel like I could be good at it, honestly, if I tried hard enough. Like, I would just skate with my friends when I was younger, but, like, nothing crazy, but... You kind of want to, like, learn. I want to learn a new, like, hobby, you know? Like, the other day, like, I kept thinking, like, I don't know if, like, I don't think I've said this all night, but, like, the universe has legit been telling me to, like, buy a trumpet. <laughs> I swear, like, I'm not crazy. Like, I keep getting signs that I need to buy a trumpet. And so, I think I might try to, like, like try to learn that. <laughs> Would you ever spray paint? Yeah, hell yeah. 
everybody alone today. I love you and you're appreciated. Yeah, this is like a safe zone if you don't have a valentine. I don't have a valentine. So, thank you for bringing that up. Emma. Lola! Sorry, the only thing about this safe zone is that it's not safe from the fucking barking that my dog is doing. Um, do you still talk to Megan ever? I mean, like... <coughs> I think she checked in on me, like, a little while ago, but, like, not really, not consistently, like, ever, no. Um, Lola, exit. Because I love you, but I'm starting to get kind of sassy with you. Lola, stop. No. 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 Stop. Lola. Stop it. If you need to leave my room, you can leave my room. She just gets confused and thinks she can't leave my room even when my door is open. So. <sighs> she my best friend. Now we got a couple. Mm-mm-mm. If you're uh, single on Valentine's Day and or like maybe your parents are like go get them something. I gotta go get my mom flowers and chocolates and stuff. But I gotta do that after my like appointment. What's your plan in Georgia? Just Liv's birthday. And then just like hanging out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what if I just start barking back? I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm sorry if that's, like, annoying. I, like, can't get her to stop. So. What would be the best V-Day present? Honestly, like, I don't really like presents. Like, my, like, whole love language thing is more just about, like, time spent and, like, words said. So I feel like just, like, a day. Like, just be, being able to, like, spend a day. Ooh, maybe I'll get... I don't know. I gotta see if my car even starts today. Cause that shit. That shit was acting up last night when I was driving from work, and I'm kind of scared to like even drive it. <laughs> Are you getting love for her B day? Can't tell you. Cannot tell you. I actually do have to go get it though. $350 later. <laughs> Yikes. I'm so sorry. I'm telling you, I'm so sorry. If my dog barking is going to, like, cause you stress, I'm, I, I, <laughs> I just had a stroke. I guess, I guess, leave. I can't make her stop. This is what she does in the morning sometimes. Like, the girl is, like, freaking 15 years old, can barely see, and just kind of goes at it. Goodwill Hall again? Nah, I gotta, I gotta go through those clothes, see what I want to like sell, and see what I'm just gonna give away, um, or like, give to Goodwill. And then once I do that, and I get all my stuff hung up and like clean, and I see where I'm at when it with it, like when it comes to my clothes, maybe I'll do another Goodwill haul. But like I'm running out of space, my dudes. Like I have way too many clothes, but I like literally wear the same things, so like that's the problem need to like actually wear the things in my closet so i need to see what there is go through it get organized i have to do that before i go see love anyways because i gotta like figure out what i'm gonna wear and like bring i don't like leaving for a trip without like my laundry done and like everything clean so i can like pick my outfits out oh lola i live here too It's fine. Like, we just, just ignore this, the hate stuff. Like, don't even give it, like, attention. Water live? Oh, uh, your girl finished her water. That is in her room, and she's not getting up right now, so. When I ask if... Actually, I do want to meditate, so I don't want to get off, because I want to do that for an hour, and then I have, like, an hour to get ready before I have to, like, hit the road. Um, So I'm going to, like, do that. What are you doing after your appointment? I have to go get my mom something for Valentine's Day. 
And I, again, I'm just praying that my car is okay today. Because I really want to go to this one. But it was acting strange when I was leaving work the other day. Stay alive while I meditate? I mean, if you guys are down, most people don't like it, so. I'm just going to be laying here with my eyes closed. Like, I'm not going to be able to see anything. And I'll probably pull this down so it's not bright in my eyes. Your sister is so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, she is very pretty. Do you have crystals? Yeah, and I just charged them the other night. Um, you fall asleep in five minutes. If I do the right one, oh, yeah. This shit will I don't really fall asleep. I'm just kind of, like, in a, like... Because I, like, I do hypnosis meditation, which is, like, my favorite thing ever. And I've been doing this one for gratitude and abundance recently. But I just, like, really, like, lost my track when it came to, like, being grateful for what I had. And, like, that, that like, I could, I could feel the difference when I stopped. So I need to, like, um, pick it back up for sure. Bow, bow, bow. How do you say your last name? Panachi. How do you meditate? I never understood. Honestly, like, it, it takes practice and time. Like, the first times you, like, start, when you start to meditate, you're going to be like, what the fuck is this? I'm sitting with my eyes closed. Like, my thoughts are going through my head, blah, 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 blah. Like, you, it takes practice to, like, not, like, it's like, I, this is how I picture it. Actually, this is, like, my favorite, like, way to explain it. You know when you're watching the news and there's, like, that thing at the bottom that runs and it's just talking about all this stuff, like, just while the other stuff is going on? So you have the news going on, which is, like, what I equate to, like, the meditation. So, like, the guided meditation, the music you're listening to, like, whatever you like to use for meditation. And then you have your little ticker at the bottom that, like, is, like, spewing out more information. It's more stuff. So, like, meditation is basically saying, like, instead of that ticker running by and you grasping every single, like, piece of information or thought in your head and holding on to it and, like, focusing on it. And then, like, you just have to let them go past like, you just have to let that thing keep spinning and just, like, yeah, you're going to have, you're going to have times where your mind wanders, but, like, that's when you have to train yourself, like, like, people don't get that, like, oh, well, my mind wanders, but, like, that's where you have to be, like, if you have to physically in your brain, like, consciously be, like, okay, like, I just had a thought, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to go back to, like, focusing on my breathing, or I'm going to go back to focusing on what they're saying, like, and the more you do that, like, the more automatic it is, and then, like, the, like, the easier it is to just kind of like watch your thoughts pass and that's what we need to do on a daily basis like not just like the reason why people meditate is to learn that thoughts we are not an embodiment of our thoughts we are not like the actions like that accompany our thoughts like if you can get yourself to a point where like you have a thought and you're just like oh it was just that's all it was like that's like it was just a thought and I'm moving past it and I'm letting it go and I'm gonna go up like about my day like then you've mastered life because like I don't know like if you want something like yeah of course like manifest it think about it blah blah blah. but like if there's things like whether like you're dealing with mental health issues or you're just in general like have a racy mind or like maybe maybe even like I don't even I don't want to say ADHD because I don't like personally I've never been diagnosed with it so I don't know like what that feels like when it comes but I do know that like there like there's a million thoughts in a day um and I definitely think that yeah, like, learning, like, meditation, like, I feel like it, it would do a little, like, a little justice, um, when it comes to, like, letting your thoughts go, so, <clears throat> it's definitely frustrating at first, um, there's definitely some, like, if, like, I had to get help before I could even, like, start meditating, like, I had to get on the right meds and, like, get my brain right, scary, because my thoughts were just so rapid and so bad, um, so I, like, I did a lot of therapy, and I did a lot of, like, I, like, talked to my psychiatrist and I got on the right stuff and like it took a while to figure it out but once I did and I was able to kind of like okay my thoughts are now just thoughts you know like sometimes they're fear-based sometimes they're scary but I'm still like teaching myself like those thoughts are not reality like our thoughts are not reality until we want to make them reality so um yeah that's my explanation so I'm gonna do that if you want to stay I mean, if you guys really want to stay, you totally can. Um, I'm just going to be listening to this specific one. It's kind of long. Just because I like long ones. Because I like when I'm, like, in that state, I like to, like, absorb as much as I can. The one thing we need to fix is my dog first, though. <clears throat> Mom! 
Are you gonna get up soon? Yeah. You are? Because I wanna start, I wanna do a meditation before I leave today and go do my thing. But this dog is driving me nuts. That's true. Let's do that first. We're gonna put my dog outside. Okay. What? Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you too. Right, come on. Come on. Oh, God. I'm putting you guys down on the table for a second. to say one thing joanna is you're getting upset that people are commenting back at you but like you come in people's lives and like comment a million negative things and like you like you're telling me like leave this leave that like you're you're you comment on everything like you have an opinion about everything and like people if you haven't gonna have an opinion about everything like you gotta be okay when people come back at you that's all i'm gonna say because like i sit here and take it every day and, like, I, I hope that whatever just happened, like, you can watch from a distance and, like, have your opinions and stuff. But, like, it's not, it's not, like, respectful to, like, be saying stuff about stuff that you really don't know. And, like, especially if it's going to be negative, mean stuff. So, like, yeah, that's all. Come on. Come on. Well, don't bully her, you guys. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, like... I guess, like, she had, like, a glimpse of, like, what it feels like to have that stuff said to you every day. And it's just, like, it's not good. So, like, nobody should be doing it. At least not, like, please not on my page. Like, I don't want anybody, like, bullying anybody or, like, saying, like, saying that they don't like this person or, like, that this person's bad or that person's bad. Like, I don't want any kind of hate like that on my page. Like, I don't like it. Regardless of what they're doing, you know? Like, regardless of, like, what they're saying. Like, that's why I tell people just to leave it because I don't want, like... I don't want any kind of negativity. I love you guys. And I just want, I want everyone to get along. Um, so nice and just like, believe it. I would appreciate that. I know you like, I, I, I do appreciate you guys. Oh, freaking out. I do appreciate you guys like, being protective and like trying to like shield me, all that stuff. But at the at the end of the day, like I got it. Like if I'm not answering to something, like it's because I'm not answering to something. Where the freaking heck did I put my jewel? That's my concern right now. Oh, please tell me I didn't bring it out there. I don't think I did. Did I do this? Right? What was it? There? Oh shit, goddamn. <laughs> We've lost it. Oh, fuck me, fuck me. How the fuck does that happen? I don't think I brought it up there back on my table. Did I drop it on the floor? Okay, obviously I took it somewhere. Hey! Ah! I didn't want me to play that video. It scared the shit out of me. I said, who? Jewel. Did I put it in my hat? Sometimes I do that and I forget about it. Oh, god damn. Hold on. We're gonna go back out here and see if it's somewhere. Oh. 
I did put it on the table. Damn, I didn't even think I grabbed it. Hold on. She's coming. She's going to come feed you. I took you potty, okay? Just give her a second to get out of bed. You're a little impatient. Me in my bed. Jewel in my hand. <sighs> Happiness all time. <laughs> I'm ready. I hope this is the right one. Hold on, let me check. I don't even know what I clicked. It started playing. I think it's this one. No, it's not. <sighs> Where is it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this one's like 40 minutes. I probably want to do the whole thing, and if you guys want to leave, if I don't if I do, end up doing the whole thing, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, people used to like when I would do um, this. Also, I need to move, you guys, because it's going to be really loud if I leave you on my computer. I like to turn it up. I'm going to put it in here. to be heartbroken um it hurts but then it gets better just like all things but i know i'm not so anything is not no i am excited to come out oh balls my dude just died that's sad I'm really struggling today. <laughs> Everything. Hold on, I'm gonna try and see if I can shut it without leaving my bed. Because my butt doesn't pop out. Yes. God, I'm a genius. She's now barking because my mom's about to get her food. When my dog gets food in the morning, She's so excited about it and, like, wants it so badly that my mom will legit be, like, scooping it. And she just sits there and screams at my mom. Like, barks, screams. Screams, barks. Um, okay, I'm going to go for this. If you guys want to do it with me, you totally can. Like, this is a really good one. It's uh, sleep hypnosis for manifesting abundance. Sometimes you'll fall asleep. Sometimes you won't. Um, I just like the stuff that he says in this one. Um, he's pretty good. I've listened to a lot of his stuff. So... Uh, um, thank you. Uh, if you want to do it with me, you totally can. If you don't, um, up to you. Uh, I will give a disclaimer that it may be beneficial, but it's not a substitute for appropriate medical attention. Guided meditation offered on this channel are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or illness. When dealing with a physical or mental illness or disease, always consult a qualified physician or therapist. Um, you can either listen to that or you can't. I just wanted to let you guys know what it said. Um, so we're not like, I'm not trying to trigger anything. And I know how hard it can be to, like, not be able to sleep. Like, I'm on meds to sleep. Um, so I get that. So I'm, I'm glad if I could even help a little bit. Glad I go now. Live. Have a good day. Happy Valentine. Or, hey, Valentine. <laughs> hey. I hope you have a good day as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip over your comment. I don't know if enough people want me to stay. Like, I feel like I used to do this when there was, like, 30 people in here. But now I don't want people to just be like sitting here and like not into it. So if you want me to stay while I do this, I can. It's just I'm gonna be like laying down right here, knocked out. Look at my eyes. I'm already ready. <laughs> I miss the thirty people lives. <laughs> and you knock out. I usually do. You look so sleepy, lol. Oh. I am. I even just thinking about doing this stuff now like makes me sleepy. 
just come back on live again after? Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, no, I highly recommend it. I mean, you don't have to do uh, a hypnosis. You can just do regular guided meditation or just listen to music. But I definitely recommend, like, even if it's just five minutes really fast, like, search little five-minute meditations for whatever you think you need the most of, whether it's, like, to relieve stress or if it's uh, to aid in with anxiety or aid with uh, negative thinking or whatever it is like I highly recommend doing that this morning um today is a good day I think that people think Valentine's Day is like oh if you're not with somebody like that's it's not good but I genuinely believe today is a good day because regardless of if you're uh in a relationship or not if you believe in the collective consciousness like today is a day of love um, and today is the day of celebrating love and celebrating relationships and sh- celebrating the people that we have in our lives. And I think collectively as a, as a world, like we, the vibes are definitely going to be good today. Um, so just try and embrace that. Try and like, try and take some of that love and like give it to yourself. And yeah, that's it. Um, Spread positivity, not hate. Be nice people. Um, I have no malice towards anybody. Like, I have no malice towards Ava. I have no malice towards Katie. I have no malice towards anybody involved in the situation. Even the people that are commenting on my stuff. Like, I just want everybody to feel positive within themselves and happy, regardless of what that looks like. And um, so, yeah, like, if you can, like, just, I'm not even saying if you can, because I know you can. But if you have it in you to just kind of, like, stop with the hate and stop with, like, the negative comments or constantly checking people's stuff and seeing what's going on, like, it would be, it would be absolutely great because, um, nobody deserves to be, uh, talked poorly about, um, nobody deserves to have hate sent their way, uh, regardless of the situation, um, and it's not, not only is it hurting them, it's hurting you. It's like expressing that kind of hatred and that kind of, uh, like hostility, like it's not good for you either. So, um, yeah, let's keep it positive today and all the other days and do something nice for somebody. Uh, maybe pay for the person behind you in line, uh, go get a thing of flowers and give them to someone random, like do some, do something that's going to make you and another person really happy today. And I promise you it's worth it. So, um, I love you guys, and yeah, let's let's move uh, forward from where we're at now, um, and continue to just like care about each other and like be there for each other, and yeah, I'm getting ready before my appointment, so uh, I'm just gonna do this for a little while. Um, you locked Trevor out. Oh, sorry, I was just shutting my door so before I start this, so I because I didn't want to be loud. I was start shutting my door before I start this because I just wanted, didn't want to be loud so I could hear this. I did. You're mumbling. <laughs> All I heard was. I, didn't know. <laughs> I said I didn't want it to be loud. Um. Well, when I'm doing this, like other noises, so I can focus on this. Okay. Doing what? Uh, just a little meditation before I like, get ready. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Do I mumble? Yeah, no, Joanna didn't say anything bad. She just said more people need to hear this. I agree. No, you're good. Guys, I just said, be nice. Like, I don't want any kind of, like, negativity in my comments and stuff. Like, just... Let's just be nice to each other. Like it's a, it's a good day to to have a good day. Um, yeah, that's it. Like just love each other. Like love is the most powerful thing. Like we are put, we know why we are put on this earth. Like a lot of people say it's like it's to be happy or it's to love somebody or whatever it is. Or we were on this earth to keep the peace. And this, this world lately hasn't been doing a good job. And I think the first step starts as individually keeping the peace. Like, whether it's this tiny or this big. Like, just keep the peace. 
and love each other and yeah like there's so many like there's like I want to say there's so many more important things but at the same time like nothing is that serious like I said it on my live the other day like we are literally on a rock shooting through space with a bunch of other rocks circling with us around this big flaming ball like there's and we're these tiny little things that like drive cars around and we're like me and like like it's the grand scheme of life like have holding on to that negativity and like holding on to like it's just not worth it so um be nice to each other if somebody drops a hate comment tell them to have a good day if somebody says something rude on, in the live tell them to have a good day tell them that you hope everything is okay tell them that you're there for them if you need them okay just let's be nice okay I'm done ranting. I got to go do this or else I'm going to run out of time. But I really do love you guys and I appreciate you guys and I just want, yeah, I just wanted to get all that out. So please be nice. Please. Like I'm, I'm asking like, okay. (laughs)